Hello, hello! Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Diva and I'm a freelance artist in New Zealand. So for today's video, guys, I kindly got sent Artex's Soft Oil Pastels, the 48 Vibrant Colors set, and also a 10-pack of the white pastels for blending. Yeah, we have just jumped straight into this YouTube video, <laughs> but um, yeah, I was very very surprised that Artex wanted to do yet again another club but here we are um these are unpaid so i do give my honest review um so just want to let you guys know that but um yeah as you guys can tell from the thumbnail today's video is a draw with me like the past couple of videos have been please i swear like tell me if you guys get sick of these because i will do something different i do have some other videos in mind that are a little bit differently formatted but the majority of my content might be some draw with me sketch with me also let me know if you want me to like do silent ones or just music or just like asmr i can do that for you but yeah so here i am just sketching out this portrait um, so I am actually slowly getting back into like my little art grind. I don't want to say phase because I don't want it to be a phase. I want to keep consistently doing art, even though it is a struggle when I'm feeling burnt out. But yeah, I am getting more into art again recently after being burnt out for a bit. But also it, it is like good to give yourself a break when you need it. So also don't force yourself to do anything you don't want to. But yeah i am starting this new sketchbook it is sketchbook four uh sorry not 14 17. i have so many other unfinished sketchbooks that i need to get around to like finishing completely because i like it when a sketchbook is like filled to the brim i know if you guys saw my previous video my last sketchbook wasn't full to the brim but it was as full as i could get it because i was so done with having that sketchbook but also let me know if you guys want me to do an in-depth um, video for the for my last sketchbook tour because I did a flip through but I wasn't sure how that would go and um, yeah let me know if you guys prefer like the more in-depth ones I think maybe that is a bit more recommended because it's more chatty and you get to know the person more through their sketches and it's like them showing their sketchbook which makes sense in a way so I have just started this sketchbook so I wanted to go over some sketchbook goals because I thought that'd be like an interesting um topic to talk about just because I feel like when you start a new sketchbook it's always like so fun and you get so hyped around it and I feel like having some goals also like motivates me to work in it more and I haven't actually written them down yet so I kind of want to use this time and this video as a like a little brainstorming idea even though you guys can't brainstorm as well live but i will brainstorm my ideas to you you guys can also comment anything let me know anything that you are thinking but um yeah okay the first goal that i have for myself that i've thought about for a bit is like drawing more expressions facial expressions i am so bad at this and like you guys might have been or like able to tell from my art but i always do like when it's a person also i only draw girls at this moment in time so when i draw a female or feminine looking character i only draw like a straight face like they only have like a serious expression or sometimes i like i always used to draw like sad ones because i always just thought they looked really like pretty or like stoic but um i but yeah, now I just like only draw serious. Like they're always just, they kind of look dead inside Loki. But I kind of want to change that. Like I want them to have a little bit of oomph. I want them to look more fluid and alive in their face. And obviously you can do that by getting more, or like if I, I can do that by getting better practice in drawing facial expressions. So that is a big one um, that I've been thinking about a lot. And also I feel like, not just facial expressions as in like just slapping on a smile and changing how the eyebrows look like i also mean like expressions in terms of face shape like how your face changes when you have a smile or when you have a frown or if you're like 
have your mouth open because you're eating or you're yelling like different emotions and how you're feeling influence how you're also how you also look in a way which is something i want to study more in the sketchbook although like i really do like the serious face look and it is like already so easy for me to draw um i would like to branch out a bit more but yeah hopefully that's not the only face you guys see from me another thing that i was thinking about being a goal for the sketchbook was poses body proportions slash poses slash anatomy slash human body figure everything everything um i really want to get better at drawing fluid poses fluid forms um especially off the top of my head because i'm always relying on a reference and all the references obviously there's nothing there's no shame nothing wrong with using references um but i think it's just nice to also not be able to use a reference like i want to be using a reference for something that i've never drawn before usually not for like like the base oh, i don't know if you guys are understanding what i'm getting but i want to like try to use references more for like if I'm drawing something new, whereas I've drawn a body a lot of times now, so I want to have like I want to be able to just do it from memory or just like think of like the three D form in my head and then see how I can get it or like translate onto paper. But I also don't want to give myself a hard time for using references. If I use a reference for like the body pose or like proportion or anything, I just want to give myself some leeway, give myself space to grow more essentially. Okay, wait, before we go back into goals for my sketchbook, um, and also let me know your guys' goals for your sketchbook. I would love to know. Um, I just want to go to this thought that I've been having recently where, okay, this is going more into my personal life, but I've recently felt like I have stayed in my comfort zone a lot recently and obviously being in your comfort zone is nice but I feel like as humans or like as people I just believe that we shouldn't always be in our comfort zones I feel like it should be like maybe like 70 30 or like 80 20 I don't know I don't know I'm making sure <laughs> I feel like we should really try to push ourselves to do things that we're not comfortable with because um, I feel like that's how you grow that's how you experience life and I feel like recently just in my own life I've been very much in my comfort zone very much in my own bubble and I want to branch out more and do more things for myself do more things that are new to me try new things um and also just have a, a better like positive mindset towards myself and towards um, my time because I feel like it's also like so easy to be so hard on yourself with things and yeah I feel like okay so this is how it's going to relate back into drawing but um, I feel like also with my art I'm noticing like I'm very very much in my comfort zone which is why I thought about being a little bit more stern in a way with these sketchbook goals because i don't want to be in my comfort zone especially um with my art because of course you're going to grow more when you're not when you're trying new things which goes for anything in your life whether that's art drawing um trying new skills like it's not just like one like i, I feel like it's just interesting this is i think it's just an interesting thought to me that being in my comfort zone wasn't just in like my everyday life but it was translating to other other things such as my art my hobby that i have also recently i have been taking um wait what am i trying to say okay so in uni this semester i'm taking two entrepreneurship innovation and entrepreneurship papers for my business degree and in one of the entrepreneurship classes they've reiterated how entrepreneurs see themselves or oh, sorry see failures as a way to learn instead of a mistake or like instead of 
something detrimental or that shouldn't have happened which is something i used to think actually but i feel like recently my mindset has shifted into more of this like negative self-talk and more of this like fixed mindset where i don't want to be in that and i didn't realize i was like growing into that but um may i think that's also to do with like me being more in my comfort zone recently but um yeah i think that was also interesting to like note down to myself because i feel like i already knew this before just the fact that it's being reiterated to me again that um that you learn from your mistakes and it's okay to fail at things no matter how many times you fail like you are still learning something in a sense and this goes for anything in life not just your art like not just if you don't like how your art turns out you don't like the way you drew something they're like all lessons they're all like you are learning something and yeah i feel like that was just a really reassuring thing to hear or like to note down to myself and also help me with my mindset and how i thought about myself whoa okay i didn't think we were gonna get this um philosophical in this video um i really did not talk that much about the oil pastels but they were really really nice um they were really really smooth i didn't do much blending with them just because my style i don't like in my painterly style i don't really like blending i kind of like leaving it splotchy and kind of impressionistic in a sense so that's kind of what i was going for here so i didn't really need too too much of the white oil pastels for the blending but um it's always good to have like extra on hand also let me know if you guys want me to talk more because i can make longer videos i can make i was thinking of making like podcast style videos and like i can oh sorry my throat is so dry <coughs> i can put up on my story or like on a youtube poll and like ask you guys questions or like topics you want me to talk about and i thought that could be really interesting if you guys want like a podcast style video like maybe like 30 to 40 minutes ish 50 minutes like style video where i'm just talking about like it doesn't even have to be art related it could be like in terms of anything but um yeah i thought that could be fun or if you guys just want me to talk more in my normal videos or if you don't want me to talk at all literally anything anything you have to say or think let me know um down in the comments or in an instagram message just let me know and i will cater to you guys but um yeah going back <laughs> to the sketchbook goals we really did divert there but um yeah so the main ones what do we say we said facial expressions anatomy slash like fluidity slash also not not using many references um i think i think that's the main main ones um i do want to try draw more like scenery i feel like i've drawn a lot of animals already especially in my last sketchbook so i feel like i'm not too fussed with drawing animals because i already really like drawing them so i feel like i will just gravitate towards them but i want to draw maybe more flowers but like not like just like doodly ones like i want to actually try to draw them really nice and detailed which is something i know that is gonna be a little bit of a struggle for me but um yeah i think actually maybe i didn't have too too many um i really just want to mainly focus on things that i'm uncomfortable with um to try get out of like my drawing my drawing comfort zone since um i can see myself really being stuck in that in terms of like drawing like the straight face all the time and also like always like i'm like religiously looking for a like full body pose because i struggle a lot with anatomy from the top of my head so i think those are the main two ones maybe i i would want to say drawing more guys but i feel like that one is another thing to tackle definitely i do want to get better at my um coloring i feel like i can definitely get better with shading and having different tones because i feel like i have a lot of the same tones when i'm coloring so coloring is always kind of loosely integrated in my goals for sketchbook but yeah actually I didn't have too too many to talk about but yeah but yeah with that we are reaching the end of the video this is how the portrait turned out and i do quite like her but i don't know some of the colors are kind of off to me but 
yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye